So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Tineke Rense. I am the owner of Powerful Business Academy. I help business women to scale and grow their business and double their income guaranteed. I work with the system, a women's blueprint for business success, and that has nine areas. And today we're going to talk about area number four, which is sales. So what is the quickest way to increase sales? And that's something that a lot of women don't like, and that is pick up the phone. It depends if you sell a product which is cheap, uh, and I'm going to address that later, but if you sell a service, and if you are the service, or if your service is um, well, something else in your business, the quickest way always is to, well, you have leads, you have people that you've talked to, you have people in your Facebook group, you have people that you met on events. So there are always people that you know. The quickest way is pick up the phone and have a conversation with them. Um, that's always the easiest way. The easiest way in when you don't make things up in your head. Because when you think, I can't do that. What will they think about me? Yeah, but I don't want to sell to people. They're my friends. I can't ruin my reputation. I cannot have my uh, relationship with them uh, being uh, cluttered with sales conversations. If you think all of those things, then it's really not going to be easy. But remember, those are just thoughts. And they're never true. They're only true unless you entertain them. So they are true when you believe them. And when you believe them, you are going to act upon them. So the, the quickest way really is having conversations with people. Now, if you work only online, uh, you can start an inbox conversation in Messenger, on Facebook, or in LinkedIn in a, a direct uh, message. And you have a conversation there. And uh, still, when you sell a service, the quickest way is when you have the typing conversation with the people is scheduling a call, scheduling an appointment. And then you have a meeting. Now, it's not the easiest way because like I said, our mind is, is, is clogged and fogged with all these things that we believe that are around sales. When you sell products, then big advertising, uh, Facebook advertising, LinkedIn advertising is the quickest way. It is the, the, the easiest way, but it's, it's not uh, uh, the way that is often very successful in the beginning. So when you do your own Facebook ads and you're not familiar with it, it's not going to be the easy way. It's not going to be the quickest way because often you will pay a lot on Facebook advertising, uh, on click-throughs or on page views, whatever you choose, uh, but you're not converting. Now, that can be that you did not target the right people. It can be that they don't lot like the way your product is showcased. So we've been talking to the, uh, about that before. It needs to look very beautiful. Uh, the, the images have to be perfectly designed. The photos have to be a superb quality. If all of that looks shabby and you did it yourself, you might have sales, but less. People don't know you. All they know is what they see. And if they see something that you put together because you can't afford to hire people to do it. The money you spend on Facebook ads, you rather spend on people to make sure that it all looks good and you wait a little while longer and then start with Facebook ads. Still, when you do it yourself, there's a lot of testing you need to do. So for the record, I don't do my own ads. I hire someone to do that because I know that the money I pay them, I will eventually save in my ad spend. It's a separate expertise. They know what copy works, they know what videos, they know what images, and they might not even know, but they know how to test it. They know how to create multi-layer campaigns, ad sets, campaigns, uh, there, there's, there's three layers. It, and Facebook makes it look really simple. So you, you think, oh, I can do that. Yeah, you can. But that does not mean that it's effective. It does not mean that you convert. But if you 
are an expert in Facebook advertising, it really is the best way to sell your products and the easiest way to sell your products. And of course, there's platforms, um, Amazon, uh, eBay, Etsy, uh, there's Shopify. There's, there's a lot of platforms where you can pay monthly and to have your online store. That's, that's also possible. But don't think that you will sell without doing anything. Nothing is going to happen if you don't promote your product. And nothing is going to happen if you don't promote yourself if you have a service. Sometimes you will get referrals or maybe you will get a lot of referrals. That is great. Uh, but I'm in the business of helping women scale and grow. And referrals is something which is not scalable. Um, we cannot say I want to increase the referrals with five every week because you don't know when your clients or friends are going to make a referral. Now you can influence that with uh, a referral program and it's too uh, much to talk about that now, but it is, it's not a scalable thing. Making a phone call is scalable. If you make a phone call every day and you have five uh, a week and you have one conversion, you know that you roughly need to make five calls and you have one sale. So if you make statistically, if you make two calls a week, you know you have two sales, uh, two calls a day, you make two sales. If you increase that to three calls a day, you will have three sales a week. That is scalable. So with my clients, I always look at scalable strategies on how to grow your business. I want you to be able to predict how much your business is going to grow. Facebook advertising, link, LinkedIn advertising, Google advertising is scalable. So you know when you pay $200 on ads and you convert uh, and, and, and you make roughly uh, 3000 uh, a month, you know that when you add 200,000, you will make double. That is scalable, yeah? So I know women, you love to get referrals because then you don't need to do so much selling. You don't need to talk to people you don't know. You don't need to talk to people who are not warm. We don't like cold selling. So this was a long answer on what is the quickest way on uh, increasing my sales depending on if you have a service and a high-end service or a product because you're not going to make a lot of calls when you sell something a service of 50 euros because you might be calling three hours to do one sale uh, because you have a sales call of half an hour and in three hours you will have six calls and then so then you should value your time a lot more I don't like sales. Well, I know that. That is the most common thing for women. We are afraid that sales is going to affect our relationship and even ruin our relationship. And that's about all the thoughts. Eh? Remember in the beginning, I thought I, I, I spoke about a lot of thoughts. It's just a thought. Doesn't mean it's true. And if you come from a place where you know that your product or service is going to help the other person, then, then it is allowed to sell. You need to have a sales conversation, otherwise they will never experience what your product or service can do to them and how much they can benefit from it and how much it will help them. So it is your duty to have sales calls, even if you don't like it. Now there is another thing. Um, if you don't like doing something, your energy drops. And when your energy drops and you do something regardless, your success rate is not as good. You're not in flow. You're not, it's not ease, eh? flow and ease. Well, the first few calls, you, you're, you're not going to like them. You're nervous, but I, I can guarantee you they won't be as bad as you think they will be. You think it's all going to be a mess and people hate you and it's never the truth. You'll end up having some nice conversations with people. And yes, you will also end up with some people who don't want to talk to you and are going to be rude or say, hey, send an email and they just want to get rid of it. Well, that's okay. That's allowed. 
But if you come from the mindset, I have something that I can do to help you or to serve you at some, then it is your duty to have that calls. And when you know you come from the heart that you really want to help someone and it's not because you want to sell and make money, because if you're focused on the money, then that's what people are going to notice. When you're focused on the service and the helping, that's what people are also going to notice. And then they might object. They might not have the money. They might not need it at the moment. There, there can be all sorts of reasons. And you can, um, what I always do with my clients, they need to make a list of all the objections. And then we are going to come up with solutions together. What can they do to address and how can they overcome and help the, the uh, other uh, party to overcome the objection? How do I do sales? Well, it's pretty simple. Having conversations with people, that's all. Whether it's online communication on a sales page or inbox messaging, or whether it's having a conversation like this. That's how you can sell. And there's nothing complicated about it, but it's the one area in business that women overcomplicate the most. And unfortunately, and it saddens me to see, that is one of the biggest reasons why the businesses of women are so small. And we have lots of excuses for it. I'm too busy. I have my family. My product or my service is not good enough yet. I don't know how to do it. Uh, I don't like doing it. All, all the things I've, I have addressed. And that is why we stay away from sales. And I always say women have the perfect business, but they never have enough clients. And that's such a pity. That's such a real shame. Uh, and not shame on you. Well, I'm not blaming you because I know you do the best you can. But you have things and thoughts in your head that are not serving you. To have a little background about me, I am not a sales expert. I'm a business expert. And because I've been running my own businesses for more than 30 years uh, and help a lot of women scale and grow their businesses, um, I know a lot about sales, but I don't position myself as the sales guru as many other people do. And what you know from me is that I always advocate it's never about one topic. You always need, when you work on one area to increase and improve in your business, you also need to work on other areas. You need to work on, see your business as a holistic thing. You need to look at what other areas do you need to work on? And that's um, wh where I come in, a general list. Someone who knows not everything about all areas in business, but enough of every area and business to help you scale and grow your business. So if you're interested, schedule a call with me. It's just 15 minutes. And in the 15 minutes, my goal is to see how can I help and serve you? And are you the right person? Is your business the right business for me to be able to help you scale and grow and double your income in a year? And if that's the case, we need two people to make a decision, you and I, to be able to schedule a next call. And yes, then it will be a sales call. But what you've just heard, you need to have sales conversations to be able to have paying clients. That's how business works. Right? And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.